Alright, so in this one, I'm going to be going over the top five units, I guess. It could be more, but top five units. I believe everyone should have at least six stars of sparkings. Um, there could be some EXs that you could throw around. Let's say Gokua, because he gives health uh, and strike attack at six stars, I believe. If not three stars, he gives that. But Gokua could be an option for an EX. But this is more just sparkings. More recent ones, maybe some old ones, but ones that can help most teams they're going to run. Now, if I don't mention a god key buffer, then it's not on purpose. It's just that these abilities that I'm mentioning are more worthwhile to more teams and varying teams than, let's say, just a double buff for god key or a double buff for future. It's more meant to help the building up teams that are slowly becoming and going to become the better teams in the game and teams that are already prominent in the game. Uh, not including Legends Limited, by the way, obviously, just normal ass 1% sparking. So, not really in any order. Maybe this last one will be in an order, uh, just because I value this very heavily, and it's really a unit that you probably won't use. Uh, Red Bojack, though. This guy, yeah, you need a star this guy, 6 stars. So, at 6 stars, he gives this 30% to powerful opponent or movies, double defense, and then 50% to powerful opponent or movies, blast attack. The reason I say him is because powerful opponent movies, right? Okay, so let's think. Brolies, Bojacks, any villain in any movie, Turles, um, Broly again right here, you see him. Any movie unit, that's the villain in every movie unit, every movie, movie in general is going to have a villain. Bojack's going to triple buff them. Uh, you could even sort buy movies here, honestly. I could probably just find out six characters that this guy is going to triple the ability buff. Look right here. So look, we have Cooler, we have Turles, we have Turles again. Um, we could get a Harutagon coming one day. Uh, we have Red Metal Cooler, um, DBS Broly there. The Androids, I believe, are powerful opponents. Uh, again, another DBZ Broly. You have all these units, LF Broly. Everyone, this guy could triple the ability buff. Uh, it's very valuable. And actually, coming off of that, another unit that probably is as valuable, if not close, just a little bit less, is this Green Metal Cooler. Powerful opponent, or uh, Sagas from the movies, strike attack and defense, then 18% to characters that are both. Powerful opponent, Sagas from the movies. So again, if you run just a movie-based team, that's powerful opponents, which is not very difficult. You have this. You have this all set up. You have this all ready to go. Uh, double, triple the ability buffs, obviously, that's 50%, right? Because you get 32% plus 18%, again, there are 14 stars. But, uh, you can get up to 50% on each character if you're running powerful opponent movie characters, which is very good. Um, obviously, free-to-play units don't really count. Now, I would say one of these two, right? Uh, 17 or 18, I would say 17 more because you see it here, it's double attack. Now, Universe Survival Saga, uh, just to talk about it real quick, right? We're getting buffs for it. We had the Kill and Khalifa coming. Uh, we had the Zenkai Kaba announcement, which is going to buff blast damage for Vegeta. And probably overall damage, or overall blast damage for Universe 6 as well. So, with that, we're getting more Universe Survival Saga buffs. So, we're getting another unit. A yellow, unfortunately, but another unit for the team. We have Zenkai Kaba coming. We have this guy who already exists, who... Is probably going to be better than Kalen Khalifa, if anything. Uh, this guy is very valuable, just as a unit in and of himself, not even just the ability. But, he is good Z ability. I mean, double attack, and then USS gets strike defense, at least 12%, up to 15%, I assume here. Yeah, 50%, again. Uh, you can't really go wrong with this guy. Uh, 18 is in a similar boat. It's just that 18 is also replaced. Uh, you could run... You could run Topo, but obviously he doesn't... Uh, you know, buff the tag. So you can run like EX Jiren, but you probably don't own them. But 18 here, again, a good option. Double defense and then strike attack, and then it goes up to 50% total. 35% and 15%. Very good options for a team that is upcoming to most likely be one of the best teams in the game. Uh, they are just... Yeah, this is probably not going to be a top 5 list. They are just overall good units, and as kits for themselves and Z abilities, they are helping the team quite substantially for a team, again, that is about to become one of the best teams in the game because of all these buffs they are getting. I understand that they're missing maybe, uh, uh actually, are they really missing anything? They have a good blue, they have a good yellow. Um, do they have a good green? No. Actually, I'm going to check the tag real quick because we are here, right? 
to check Uterus Survival Saga, what are they missing? So they have a good yellow. They have an okay... He, actually, Bergamo's good. Uh, Bergamo's there. Good red. They have a good blue. That buffs the tag I'm talking about. Not necessarily just units that are on the tag, right? UI is mid. I wouldn't say he's good. So they need a purple... And they need a green. This team still works, though. Like, running it, and then EX Jiren exists. So they have that blue option there. You're running this team, it works. It's just that it, they need a little bit more newer units. Because UI is a little bit aged. Uh, he's not as phenomenal as he once was. Just He doesn't get enough damage, right? Uh, it's just how it is with him. But USS could easily become one of the best tags in the game. I could actually fully see a lot of Zenkais pertaining around USS happening in the coming months. But that's just me thinking out loud. Let's keep going. Yeah, we're just going to go through whoever the fuck is a good Z ability buffer, right? This Broly. Broly. Now, why Broly? Health. Health is one of the most valuable Z abilities in the game. Obviously, the more health, the more durable, the longer sustain, and all that. Health is very good. Obviously, the higher stars, the more health he is giving. 18% to a tag that has a lot of triple double buffers, meaning Bojack, meaning Cooler, all these other units that triple double buff. Um, it'll help the team a lot. You have a lot more defenses, a lot more attacks, all that on top of more health. Even this guy not being the greatest unit, even though I actually just ran him and beat, uh, you know, pretty good Namek, well, not some blue, blue, purple kind of Namek Saga, kind of just random blue, blue, purple team. He does okay in matches. He's not very good at for himself again this is more just talking about the abilities and units that you probably should prioritize over other units that are currently in the game uh this vegeta now this vegeta is ass in my opinion i really don't like him he actually might be good with kaba with the zenkai since it's super saiyan one kaba uh this vegeta then bardock you could run that team uh, his Z ability is double defense and then saga saiyans get strike attack now saga saiyans that's basically going to be Goku, because we don't really have any Vegeta from the movie. Except this Vegeta, right? Like, I could go back and I don't remember. Well, Saga Saiyan's actually LF Broly. Wow. LF Broly could get a lot. Um, LF Broly can get Bojack stuff and then get this guy's stuff with Saga Saiyan buffs. That's actually very good. Uh, it's interesting how they started buffing some of these tags. Where in the hell? There it is. Um, like, you know, you don't see the future Saga tag getting triple z ability buffs you don't see the majin Buu saga tag getting this but movies they want to make this a real tag yes yeah, so what would you have here turlises gokus bojacks gogeta it's not terrible but i feel like if you're gonna run a more movie centric team you're gonna lean in one direction or the other maybe i'll bring like gohan and bojack because you're too like okay one doesn't necessarily help the other too much in buffs with the triple but they work together because colors and all that. I feel like you're more leaning. Let's say you bring Bojack. Okay, you'll bring LF Broly then. Okay, then you'll bring Green Broly, um, Purple Turles. Maybe you don't have LF Gohan, obviously. They'll kind of like lean one way or the other. Uh, at least with my movies team, it's more just like, okay, Gokua, Bojack, Green Broly, Gohan's there, uh, Gogeta Blue, maybe if I want to have fun, and then some other unit, right? I could easily replace them with other Zenkais here that you see on the list. But there's still options to bring. Uh, to continue, though, going through who you should at least six star. Again, this isn't like in any particular way you should do it. I do think Broly has very good value because Movies is a very good team. And no one really talks about Movies because I don't know why it's not talked about. Movies is just very exceptional. And if it's not tankier than Regen, uh, Movies is like... Movies is there. Like, uh, I don't know. Bojack and Gohan with that... My five sub count and all that. Uh, it, it just has very good manipulation, that team. But to keep going here, I feel like I missed somebody. Um, was it Green Goku Black? I'm pretty sure he tripled D really buffs, right? Yay. Wait. 18% powerful. It wasn't Green Goku Black. It was someone else. Whatever. I mean, this is a good Z ability, right? Powerful opponent. Um, Future is not the greatest team, but powerful opponent. Which, again, is mostly movie centric. I do recommend Bergamo, another health unit for USS, right? Yep, USS or red. Um, that's very good to actually be a red one because maybe you run like Gohan with this guy. Very toxic, I know, but you could do it. Gohan could actually get... Wow, you could run a team where LF Gohan gets triple health buffs off bench because you have Gotenks and then the Kid Gohan, the Masenko one. Then this Bergamo is triple health buff 
bench. Then Zenkai buff him, and then run him with, like, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Oh, that's cancer. Holy shit, wow. Anyways, <laughs> I'm glad I thought of that team. I might even use it. Um, 20% there. USS, like I've been saying, it's going to be a good tag. Uh, it's not even necessarily a bad tag right now. It's just that it's missing two colors. Usually teams can get away with missing one color, kind of like God Key, which I know Corrupted Zamasu exists, but it's like you're not going to see him in 99% of your matches. You're not going to see him on the team in 99% of your matches just because you don't really need that red. Uh, similar story to hybrids. They have a green. They don't need the green. You really don't see the green option, even... The blue option, you don't even see Super Saiyan 2 Trunks as much as you see, like, Future Gohan or Rival Gohan and Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Um, same concept with the USS, it's just that they need one more color, because missing two is very bad, while missing one is, like, it, it's workable, right? Like, it can work out, uh, especially with no Zenkais. They really need a strong green or, uh, I mean, not, uh, yeah, green or blue, I guess you could say, but, I mean, they could use a purple as well, but a blue would be better for them, because Jiren... It's an EX, LF rates, worse than LF rates, actually. Probably not going to pull. But Z ability is going through uh, past everything that we've gotten within this calendar year. Aren't necessarily crazy. I mean, we could look at others that are up here. But it's kind of obvious, like a Broly, like a launch, or Yamcha giving 40% to what is a Dragon Ball Saga. Um, green and then, oh, green or yellow. So they're type, you know cover right so launch covers greens so she gives 40 percent to obviously red and green yamcha colors or covers yellow so he gives 40 percent to them then 50 percent at oh 45 percent okay i mean that's a very good z ability right and then launch same story angel vegeta's double defense i don't know what dkp is i think he's just triple he's a triple right yeah yeah, yeah. regent or powerful opponent I'd say that's valuable. Um, this actually is valuable enough to six stars. Because regen, you don't have another purple option, so fuck it. Uh, powerful opponent, you do have Turles, but... I, personally, I do like DKP over Turles. Turles just takes too long. And while he is good against most of the teams you're going to play against, because obviously Sun Family exists, um, I just prefer DKP. He pairs better with... Well, actually, does he pair better with Kid Buu? That's actually a pretty good discussion, if you could actually make it. If DKP pairs better with Kid Buu than Turles, because Turles can supply green cards very often. So can DKP. Uh, uh, but Turles... Is Turles... I think Turles is strike-based, right? Is Turles strike-based? Where in the hell is Turles? Oh god, I have this sorted by order received. Turles, you're range type, actually. What is your stat? Ah, yeah, your stats ain't it. I am assuming DKP has a lot higher stats than you when he is transformed here, right? Yeah, that, yeah, that hurts Turles. Yeah, DKP definitely is a better partner. But, I mean, 30% at 6 stars, powerful opponent, and or uh, regen. Very good. Recommend him. Uh, Rival Goku is a good option. I mean, there's good options everywhere. It's more just, obviously, what's your main team. But main teams are kind of tricky, right? Because people want to summon for their favorite character. So it's like, let's see, main movies. But Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta just dropped. Okay, well, what's good Z abilities for maybe... Vegeta, and maybe a movie-centric team that can you can bullshit into like a Saiyan team or something, or bullshit into like a Vegeta family team. Well, that purple Super Saiyan Vegeta we discussed earlier from the second Cooler movie, good option. Um, other units that precede them, good options. So it's kind of like giving a discrepancy between the two, and just scrolling through, like I said, or I was trying to say earlier, they didn't really do these Z abilities back then. Uh, year two, year one, you look at all these characters, I can tell right off the rip. Nobody here has a triple Z ability. Uh, that's gonna buff, like, double to one tag, and then if you're both these tags, then you get that triple buff, right? No one here has that, um, which is unfortunate. I mean, you kind of need that nowadays, like, these newer units. Not necessarily being a staple, but just being more desirable because of those Z abilities. Kind of like this Goku, which, he has a little quirky in his, which is GT or Sun Family which is fine, then it's GT and Saiyan, so it's basically Goku, like, because you're not going to get the GT or Sun family with a Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. You're going to get only the GT and Saiyan with Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Well, actually, you will, because it's GT or... I don't know. It's just a little weird how they put that for him. But, nonetheless, there are good options. I mean, we could just keep going through literally almost every sparking from third year, right? Or leading up to third year, at least. 
this guy, double uh, strike attack and defense, and then movie hybrids, get strike attack again, which is actually interesting. I think this is like one of the first times they did this, where their initial buff is one thing, and then their secondary buff is that same exact thing. You would think this would be like the last attack, but I guess they want you to use uh, this guy's the ability for Revival Gohan, so they give him double, double attack, basically. I don't think Kefla, Nova, Ice have triple Z abilities. If anything, this video is just explaining that, yeah, uh, these newer units, get them to six stars. They made them very valuable. Uh, maybe not the most desirable units, because, like, you look at this Vegeta, uh, you look at some other units down here, kind of like, I don't know, Great Saiyan, not that valuable, because they only have a double as well. Yeah, it's more or less just anything that's come out since after, well, no, not after second anniversary, after UI Goku. I guess after, you know, maybe not. After UI Goku kind of makes sense. Because Maj Vegeta came out before. It's just I pulled him late. Um, yeah, Anything after UI Goku is very good Z abilities. You just look here. All these sparkings. And it's just kind of crazy. Because you have this guy doing his health. Yeah, this guy could triple buff. But he's not left, so I'm not going to go over him. Yeah, they have very good options here. Uh, to even look at some EXs, I guess. Since we are just here. Out and about just spitting. Um, some other options. don't know why Ultras are still sorted. It's so weird. Uh, this guy, very good option for a hybrid team if you don't have some other units that could Z ability buff them. Maybe you have this guy two stars. Z power him up. Hybrid Saiyan, double defense, and then tag future hybrid Saiyan. Get, you know, like future Gohan, future Trunks, this Trunks. Uh, get strike attack, which obviously hybrid's more strike based, so that helps out. Um, this Goku Black, I believe, is a triple. If not, he is good for powerful opponent, right? And powerful opponent, 32%, up to 35%, most likely at uh, 14 stars there. This guy, good for uh, movie Saiyans, right, I believe? Yep, movie Saiyans, uh, double defense, and then strike attack to movie Saiyans. Uh, again, good for similar units to that Super Saiyan Vegeta, Goku's, Gogeta, whoever the fuck else comes out in the next 2022 movie, Broly's, all that. Very good for them. This guy's very good EX to Z power up. Um... He is, what, double attacks to Saiyans, which, if you're missing some units, get them up. Obviously, there's 50% EX is here. This guy, 50% uh, to uh, strike attack and defense or double defense. F14 stars, same with you. Strike attack and defense or double defense, whatever it is. You for a Namek Saga team or a hybrid team is double attack. You for a Namek Saga team is double attack. I mean, there's decent options everywhere. Uh, Gokua, like I mentioned in the beginning, always going to be a good option. Giving health is crazy. You run... I mean, technically, you could run Gokua on Powerful Opponent and Broly. Just don't run Gokua in your match because he's not going to get the ability buffs unless you're running, like, movie... Like, like I kind of discussed earlier, you're running, like, movie units that are also Powerful Opponent, but either or could get the Z abilities. So you could run Gokua technically on, like, a Powerful Opponent team, and then he'll get the Z abilities for um, all those other units, like Bojack, Cooler, Broly, um, all the Coolers, all these other units... Their powerful opponents give double health, basically, for a powerful opponent-based team. Um, nothing else here really stands out. Uh, you could look at Roshi, which I don't think is crazy, actually. I just don't remember. Eh, double attack, but it's blue, which isn't terrible. But color teams really aren't the meta right now. This Bojack, I believe, is powerful opponent strike attack and defense, which, again, can be useful, but you just have so many options uh, with Sparkings, and Sparkings are obviously easier to Z-Power up than EXs. Uh, again, the 40-50%, uh, this guy, 40%, uh, Blast Hack and Defense, I believe, for red units, red or green units. Again, the Boo and 14 there, blue and purple. EX Nails, like, 38% or something to double attacks for purple or Namek Saga, I believe. Goldo, who is a health bench for Frieza Force, which actually can be run with the Robbery, uh, I don't know, LF Full Power Frieza, and let's say a Pool, Ramon, one of them actually is pretty competent because 14 stars of those guys are actually good but yeah uh this is more just rambling going over what i think you guys should see power i don't know if this will actually be helpful or useful to anybody um the game is kind of dead so there's not much content in the game so i apologize for that not much to make a video on uh we do have maintenance tonight which goes until 6 a.m so that's great i'll upload you know the kaba showcase once the game is back up but yeah maintenance up until 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, 
yeah, that showcase will be up probably like 7 a.m. Because uh, not much I can do when the game is in full maintenance, right? Uh, let me know what you guys think. At least the equipment hacker is going to be banned, though, so that's nice. Uh, I ran into two of them, this, three of them this morning, so that was fun. Let me know what you guys think of this. If it helped you, let me know. If it didn't help you, I apologize. Uh, and yeah, if you didn't see the 1pm video, that is the start of the four-part long giveaway. Basically, you type, well, remember a phrase. And I'll say four phrases, they'll make a full sentence. Once the full sentence is read out and heard, boom! You guys have that sentence. The first person to tweet me it, uh, comment it, whatever, I will contact you. And then there is a giveaway of your choice, $50 Google Play or iTunes gift card, or an SH Figure Arts figure that obviously the price cap would be $50. So yeah, if you didn't see that, go check that out. I'm mentioning it at the end here so people actually watch to the end and see this. Yeah, uh, check that out and let me know what you guys think of everything. And I'll see you guys in the next one.